Hi, welcome to uh, another special edition of the Scottish Liberty Podcast with me, Tom Laird. And uh, today we're going to do part two of our interview with the Scottish Libertarian Pan Party candidate for the Kilmarnock and Hurlford East. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Close enough. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but somewhere in the Ayrshire, uh, by election, uh, council by election. Uh, and that's Stevie McNamara, who's also a membership, membership secretary for the Scottish Libertarian Party. Welcome back to the, to the podcast, Stevie. Thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, you know, making your way through here on this shitty day. Um, so tell us, first of all, how it's going. Today I believe you were at uh, some sort of uh, etiquette meeting. <laughs> yeah, uh, the council were um, giving us all, all the candidates a little rundown of what was happening in the night and you know some of the procedures you'll go through okay. things like that boring boring stuff right so a lot of do's and don'ts going on if I don't do that <laughs> don't stick yeah, that and anybody on the door <laughs> anything like that I'll just say I'm glad he wore his tie for this interview otherwise he'd look like the national action candidate yeah for <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> yes. no copyright he's, 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 he's actually he's actually wearing uh, Doc Martens as well into the bargain so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so as, if, as if we're not getting enough flat for certain <laughs> members of the party. But anyhow, <laughs> so have you did? Have you managed to get out and about and do any canvassing or leafleting? Or is that all to come? Well, there's a lot more to come. But yeah, um, been out and about canvassing, uh, visiting various charities. Uh, was at another one today. Okay. Um, I was uh, one of the church groups at uh, kind of soup kitchen for the homeless. Okay. Uh, there was a couple of hairdressers there. And, right. um, Where do they fit in? The, the, well, they, 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 for they the homeless guy. Can yeah, I like they, they volunteered their time. <laughs> right. Um, okay. To to help uh, people who couldn't otherwise afford a haircut. Um, and right. I got mended. Is that you get your hair, charity haircut? Yeah. Well, I didn't like to say, you know, but it looks <laughs> it looks it looks very smart. I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah a, bit, a, great job. a bit of that going on, and also a bit of a celebrity. Uh, we've got you in the local, uh, is it local newspaper for you? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, here we go. It's the it's none other than the Kilmarnock Standard, uh, as read by I don't know what percentage of population there. <laughs> no idea, but it's a, it's certainly a really good. If you can just get that in there, there's our very own Stevie. Did we get that? Done. Done the video game. Yeah. So uh, Stephen McNamara, Scottish Libertarian Party, and it's got you quoted as saying, we believe in the individual over the collective, which is good stuff. Stephen McNamara from Kilmarnock is standing in the council by-election under the Scottish Libertarian Party banner. Stephen told the standard, the Scottish Libertarian Party are a unique movement on the Scottish political scene, which is absolutely true. Uh, one of the things that makes us unique, and I know this... For a lot of people, they're going to that people dispute this, but say, well, we're the only party who actually we, that subscribed to the non-aggression principle. Uh, and people say, well, what's that boiled down? Well, boiled down, don't hurt people, don't take their stuff. Mm -hmm. And everybody starts, come on, surely everybody believes that. And they say, well, not really. You know, every other party believes in not only taking your stuff, but if you won't give it to them, they're going to hurt you. They're <laughs> going to throw you in the jail. You know, or the police will come and taser you, and drag you off to the jail, and. Uh, yeah, so it's true. We're the only party who doesn't really need to uh, to use violence or coercion in other in order to implement our policies because we don't believe in taking uh, that which was, does not belong to us, namely people's income. Mm -hmm. um, but what sort of success rate have you had in talking to people? Uh, I know that it's a well. First of all, it's it's an SNP ward, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's an SNP stronghold at the moment. Okay. It was Labour prior to um, the referendum. It was a Labour stronghold. Prior, uh, prior, prior, uh, prior to the India ref? Yeah. Okay. Uh, something happened, something clipped in the electorate. And okay. And in vast, vast numbers, uh, all those Labour supporters disappeared and became SNP supporters. Right. I think it's a similar thing happened with our MPs. They all kind of disappeared and suddenly reappeared in SNP clothes. Um, but... The question I was going to ask, well, I was going to ask you a question there. Yeah, so it's went before the Indy Ref, uh, Scottish Labour Ward. Was that, could that have been anything to do with a candidate? I mean, okay, why is it up for grabs for a start? Uh, the the for, constituency. Oh, yeah. right. Um, 
the council John Buchanan sadly passed away. He right, was a, okay. He was a popular um, figure. He's been there for quite some time. Okay. Uh, and it's it's um, it's, it's obviously unfortunate. Not sure. I'm not sure the time, what exactly the circumstances were. Yeah. Uh, but I know it was untimely. It was unexpected. Okay. So could it have been? Could the swing uh, from Labour to the SNP could it have been largely down to him and his personality, or the fact that he was just popular, or, or I mean, was it a genuine swing to the SNP, or was it just him as an individual? People. Well, no. He him? he, through Labour's stronghold of the the area. Um, the SNP and Jim Buchanan always held that for, for a long, long time. Right. Um, so it's, although the, the, the larger area was right. Labour for long enough, okay. that, that was specifically SNP for, for a time before that. Right, alright. So is your, the feedback that you're getting from people that you're talking to, is it largely positive or, I mean, how many people even have you spoken to so far who are aware, A, what a libertarian is, or B, that there's even a Scottish libertarian party on the scene? Everyone so far that I've spoken to has never heard of it. Right, okay. Is that largely good or largely bad? I mean, does it, I mean, I'm imagine in some ways that'd be a good thing because it gives Probably, you a, yeah. it gives you an in. Whereas, you know, if you're green or you're, if you've got a party that's got baggage with it, people go, oh no, I don't vote for them, I vote for the SNP. But exactly, I guess yeah. there's some sort of curiosity there. Mm. Right. There is. Uh, and there's been some people saying that they're, they're willing to vote for me just because of who I am and what I stand for. Right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you, uh, you've you had a political past, you've, I think you've been a member of another political party in the past. Was it Rise or Solidarity you were a member of before? Uh, or, briefly or, Solidarity okay. and before that the SNP. Right. What was, it, what, what was it that made you make the move to, to Solidarity for the SNP? What was it about them that attracted you? The, the SNP, were, the only thing I liked about them was my my perception of the stance on independence. Right. Uh, and I was willing to lend them my support. Okay. Uh, when other issues came to light, uh, a lot of their other policies I just didn't agree with. There, there was almost nothing in their manifesto I actually agreed with right. at that personal level. Uh, some of it was even detrimental to my personal circumstances. Right. Okay, got you. Uh, I then had a friend standing with, as a candidate with uh, Solidarity that yeah. um, I chose to support. Okay. He uh, joined up as a member and, and the third term. Okay. And it was only after the Scottish elections that, that I discovered the Libertarian Party. Right. Um, discovered what was in the manifesto and some of the background to it and something clicked. It was, it was amazing. It was, um, it, was, it was one of those defining moments in my life that I know there's other people that think just like me. Right, okay, good stuff. Um, what's the, what's your view on how well you'll do? I mean, do you, can you see a lot of people giving you the, the second vote? I would like to think, you know, a lot of people would at least consider me for the second vote. That's okay. The end. Yeah, if you, especially if you're watching this in the air show and if you live in that world, what's wrong with you? Can't you see this as a great guy <laughs> giving me a second vote? Uh, You've got. You've also recently. Uh, you've got involved in the airwaves. You've got uh, something going on with a radio station. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's um, a bit of a kind of underground radio station, KA Radio, and okay. that was um, set up just over five years ago uh, by a group of enthusiasts broadcasting online. Right. Uh, and I got involved quite recently. Um, been an eye opener. Uh, right. I've been learning so so much, uh, and it's been great to be to be a part of it. Okay. So what's the what's the the setup uh, as it is? I mean, I know you're doing a lot of building work, trying to build the studio yeah. and so forth. So where is it broadcast now? But at the moment, uh, well, it's, it's just simply a computer in, right. in someone's bedroom at the moment. Somebody's yes. bedroom. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Well, it's ma male or female? Female. <laughs> okay, so you're just trying to broadcast like a hair dryer going on in the background. <laughs> <and you're laughs> so, so, so curling tongs kind of burning you in the background. So is, is it not, not, not quite? quite not okay. quite. The, the computer, the, the, the main server is, is there. Okay. Uh, 
from from that the the presenters, the DJs that contribute, they record them their own okay. their own homes uh, and submit the stuff through online. Okay. Uh, it's it's fantastic. There's, there's, um, a, the most popular DJ is a guy called Lachlan Green. Okay. He is in El Paso, Texas. Right. Uh, brings a huge following to the station. Fantastic. Uh, he's really really popular. Uh, puts so much effort in. Uh, Brilliant. He's, he's, is a brilliant guy. Uh, we also have um, a lady called Ri who is in Japan. Right. Uh, she does shows from there. <laughs> okay, but the, uh, I take it in English, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. In English. Yes. <laughs> okay. So actually, there was a story behind this. this is before my time, my involvement with the station. Right. But she got involved with the station, uh, and learned English just so that she could produce a show. Okay. Just for us. Right. And what kind of stuff is she doing? Is it chat or is it music? Or it's, it's music. Uh, Japanese she, music? Or? A mixture. Um, okay. You know, but, uh, every every DJ, every presenter, um, they'll do their own their own thing. Okay. Uh, there's a bit of uniqueness and and it's you know one DJ is doing their show. What we see behind the scenes is that people from a certain demographic area. Okay. All start listening. Yeah. And other followers who were listening to the show before drop off. Uh, and you know, so it's they all have their own unique listeners. Okay. And is it what's the how does somebody access it? Is it purely through the internet? Uh, yeah, there's the internet or different apps in the phones. Okay. Things like that. So yeah, there's apps you can download. Okay. And is there a website for the for the radio station? Yeah, ka-radio.co.uk. Okay, well check it out, people. Um, Thanks for the plug. <laughs> it's not a problem. It's just what we're here for. Yeah. Uh, plug the party. Plug your radio show. Plug your candidacy. Um, and I believe that you're gonna, you know, whatever way this goes. I mean, and I wish you every success. I uh, think you're a good candidate, and I, I, I do wish you every success. But I mean, the I take it once this by election is settled, I take it have you to go through it all again for the same ward in May, or or what happens? Yeah, in May. Um, right. For those of you, sorry, for those of you who don't know, there's going to be a, a nationwide Scottish. Uh, I think it's actually UK wide. No, it's just a Scottish one. It's just a Scottish one. Just Scottish local council elections, so people will be voting locally. Uh, so this is a by election, but come May, you whoever whoever is elected to this one will have to go through the whole process. So you're going to have to yeah. fight it. Well, if, 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 I'm assuming that, but of course, you're going to what, sweep to victory, obviously. <laughs> right? Landslide, uh, landslide vote for the Libertarians, and then, ironically, have to go through it all again, and we'll lose to you know, screaming lots such a wise <laughs> deed. <laughs> we'll lose it to the Raymond Linney party. Um, so, yeah, no, that's 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 excellent. So you're, you're fighting a good fight. As I say, uh, I wish you every success. Um, what do you, what's, I mean, apart from the Scottish Libertarian website, www.scottishlibertarians.com, um, how else can people support you personally? Uh, they can get in contact, um, okay. either phone or email, which details are on the website. Right. Uh, they can visit the office in Old Mill Road, the campaign office that we have. Okay. What's the exact address of that for those of uh, anybody who wants to speak in? First floor. Two hyphen four Old Mill Road. Okay. Um, just ask for myself, and uh, I'm there sometimes if you can catch me. Um, I'll borrow in the places all over the place, uh, meeting voters and yeah, uh, uh, different people. Yeah, kissing yeah. hands and shaking babies. I should that be the other way around? Yeah. Careful, yeah. I caught me out the last time. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me at least a hundred. And fifty votes that one, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> get it the right way around. <laughs> I think there, there could even be as little as one hundred and fifty votes in this count, you know. So right, okay. Uh, it's it's every vote really does count in this one. All right, and what's I mean I know it's, it's kind of we what would you reckon the demographic of the voter is there in that part of the world? Is it you know what what kind of area? I mean, is it, is it mainly? Retired people, or is it mainly? Actually, no. Um, there is a really healthy mix. Okay. Uh, there's um, the the town of Harrowfoot 
the village of Crooked Home, the area around, around London Road, uh, and then the the whole section of New Farm Walk as well. Okay. Uh, and it's an entire mixture. I mean, it's a wonderful mixture of people. Right. Uh, absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Okay. Uh, there's, there's the there's areas that have some of the wealthiest in the area okay. over there, and there's other parts that host the, the homeless and the poor. Yeah. And it's everyone in between. And what's the what would be a couple of burning issues in uh, in that area? I mean, I know that in most councils it's usually potholes and dog shit. It's usually <laughs> things that, that comes up all the time. And if we can only find a way of solidifying dog shit, we can probably tackle the pothole problem and the dog shit problem at the same time. But anyway, <laughs> so what's what what's the sort of what's the burning issues that you think even that you can tackle, or that there's a there's an end for you, or is it? I think a uh, lot. Well, of the issues at the moment um, are around bin collections. Okay. The local council recently changed to three weekly collections. Okay. And then have a multitude of boxes for different recycling yeah. uh, items. Um, the, the bins when they're empty just get blown about everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an absolute nightmare sometimes. Yeah. Do they even, do that council, local council, regional council, do they even have the correct facilities to recycle this stuff once it's been separated out into these, you know, special bins that they gave everybody? <laughs> or do they just bang it on a boat to Poland and get them sorted out there? I think they do that in Edinburgh, I don't know. But... Uh, the, overall, the labs are not too bad. Okay. Although some of it does end up in the same warehouse. Yeah. Uh, and... Actually, there's some, there's some really good facilities. Uh, okay. Actually, bikes that are handed into the council are taken to a local facility down in Short Lease okay. in Kamarnock, and it's a group of volunteers who fix them up and, and sell them on at a very cheap price. All right, and is that is that, is that a private uh, sort of? It's a private charity. It's not um, funded through any other kind of government means. Okay. Uh, they give unemployed people a chance to to get a work experience. Okay. And is it what's what's sort of council tax rate are we talking about in that neck of the woods? Is it fairly reasonable? Well, I said it's never reasonable, but is it as council tax rates go? Uh, I believe East Ayrshire are not exactly the cheapest, they're probably uh, I think when I last heard they were amongst the higher end. Okay. Like for like. Right. Well, it's another reason to vote Libertarian. We will get rid of council tax. Well, obviously, Stevie can't do it on his own. He'd love to. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> unlike the SNP, who said they were going to get rid of council tax and then never bothered their arse. Right? I, I think. think they're actually now um, talking about raising it. Yeah, they're, they absolutely are talking about raising it. Uh, I think that's I think it could be UK-wide, though, as opposed to just Scotland. But. Yeah, but I think the, the way the, the mainstream parties are talking just now that they're, they're having a competition as to who can raise it the most. Aye. Uh, it's it's um, horrible. Uh, it's, but you have, to, you, have, you, have to, uh, you have to concede though they are doing a sterling job with every penny that they gather. <laughs> <laughs> anyway Stevie, look, thanks for coming to see us again. Uh, I'm sure you'll update us, we'll update you as well with uh, Stevie's successes as they roll in. Uh, when's the election date? 26th of January. 26th of January, okay. So if you're from Ayrshire, if you live in that ward, get out there, vote for Stevie. Even if you're saying, okay, it's a small party, I'll stick to my usual vote, whether it's SNP, Conservative. Bung Stevie, your second vote, I'm sure it'll come in useful. Thanks for joining us and all the Thanks best. Thanks for having me. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Who did that come in at about 15?